so this next company got off to an inauspicious start when on the first day of the program a cease and desist letter arrived from another company, a more well-established company, claiming trademark infringement. So the name of the company has changed. In fact, it's changed a few times. Uh, but their vision and the direction have not. Please welcome Ceratus. Hi, my name is Divya Dar, and I am CEO of Ceratus. When my uncle became a doctor 30 years ago, he was given one of these, a pager, to help him communicate with his team. Now, when I became a doctor about four years ago, four years ago, I was given one of these, a pager. <laughs> the same bloody thing. About 98% of official hospital communication still flows through pages. Do you know what it's like to be using a pager in the 21st century? Just imagine if the Chicago Bulls team was 10 times as big, was playing on 10 different courts, and they were rotating on and off, no coach, and their primary means of communication was this, a pager. Would they still be as successful? This analogy is not far from the truth. In fact, when you arrive at the hospital, you're met with an array of providers. They're each looking after 10 to 20 other patients. They're changing shifts all the time, and they're doing so at different times. The biggest question they have in their mind is, who else is looking after my patient that I need to contact? I'm not the only physician frustrated by this problem. 57% of my colleagues are using their personal phones to text message each other patient information. This is not just frustrating, it's also unlawful. But they do it anyway because they rather put the data at risk than their patients. This problem is not just frustrating, it's also expensive. An average hospital is spending $8 million a year in lost productivity because of this problem. Now, you bring that across with 5,000 or so U.S. hospitals, and you get a whopping $44 billion lost in productivity every year. It's an expensive problem, and it's crazy that we're doing it. Not only is it crazy because of this, it's crazy because hospitals are put, putting themselves at risk. All these conversations are happening outside of these hospital walls in disparate devices, and there is no medical legal record of them. Now, a simple text messaging solution does solve part of the problem, compliance. But I ask you, what good is it to have secure text messaging when you don't even know who to contact? That's the first problem Ceratus solves. Let me show you how. Now, I arrive at, at my evening shift at the hospital in the internal medicine ward. I get spoken to with the nurse who says, your patient, Jack Smith, developed stomach pain. The first thing that comes to my head is, is this new or is this pain that the team does know about and has already done something about it? Perfect. I know what to do. I'm going to log into my app, Ceratus. I see a bunch of my patients including Jack Smith. I click on his name, and I see him in the middle of the screen with, a, with all his providers surrounding him. Now, this screen here is a patient-centric screen, and it is dynamic. It changes as people come in and out of ship. It also gives you other information, such as who sent you text messages and what urgency were they. But we won't go into that right now. What I'm interested in is finding out information. So I click on the patient's icon in the middle of the screen, and I see a bunch of threads. These were text messages that were sent about this patient when I wasn't even the recipient of these text messages. Look, there's one on abdominal pain. Perfect. Let me click on that. I see that there's been a conversation between the resident and attending about this, and they've come, up, come to some conclusions. Now I know exactly what to do. I go back to the patient's center screen, and I initiate a message 
with the covering surgical resident. I ask the question, su submit my priority, and then I can see very quickly that the message has been read and I get a response. The number of hours I have spent trying to figure this out, whether information is old or new, and who to contact. Ceratus makes this easy. Ceratus enables satisfaction, efficiency, and compliance. But this is just tip of the iceberg. For the first time, we're going to give hospital administrators the ability to see this huge asset they, they have, conversations, and be able to plug into them analytics. We're going to provide new actionable insights. Just imagine, you're going to be able to track words like infection and see early warning systems such as being able to see this infection surge has come from Ward 8 and we can provide early containment. We're also providing doctors the ability to see their own personal analytics on their own fingertips. The ability to see that they have got response times and how this compares with their colleagues and best practices. We're currently in testing at Penn Medicine and the response so far has been amazing. Doctors, they are so excited to use this product across the enterprise in involving coordination of care. We're also in several conversations with various different large hospital groups about this product and how excited they are about per using this. Our business model is simple. Per user per month fees. We're also bringing on other sources of revenue, such as the analytics piece, as well as bringing patients, their families, and outside providers onto the platform. We have an amazing team that's brought this product forward, and I especially am grateful to Lane Reddick, my colleague, classmate that I met at Warden MBA. Lane was so amazing when I started this conversation with him about the problem we were solving. He's built software solutions and taken them to scale and understands how to tackle a problem like this. He's been a software developer in one of the country's leading hedge funds. We also have a stellar team of advisors that we're so grateful for. You guys have heard me talk a lot about teamwork and talent. We can't do this alone. We're currently raising $1.25 million to bring on an amazing team of engineers and data scientists to take this product to market. We're also wanting to launch five pilots in the next six months. The time is now. Hundreds of hospitals are looking for a solution for this problem. Ceratus is that solution. Thank you.